What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a modification to the Z06 that a lot of people overlook. To me it's super important, especially if your car is super low um, or even stock height. You can still receive damage underneath your car if you don't have these. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So what we're looking at is a pair of Elite Engineering frame or Rocker Guards or C5, C6 Corvette. They're made out of aluminum. Super thick. Very sturdy. The front portion is tapered front of the car. They have these jacking points built in. They have countersunk holes for these self tapper screws. You're just going to run into the bottom of the car. Typically I wouldn't be a fan of just running some screws into the bottom of the car, but obviously these are well engineered and um, you can just run these in. Also something really nice they did is they've put some double sided foam tape on three sections of these. That way you can get it up in there situated where you want it and then run the screws in. So let's get the car jacked up so we can get these on. All right, so the car is all jacked up on the one side. Typically I like to do work on a lift. But uh, for these, the lift arms would be in the way when installing these. So I got it up, put a jack stand right there on the rear subframe. I put it up here on this part of this front subframe and I have the jack as a safety. Not really a true safety because it's in the front of the car, but um, it should be fine. So when installing these, it's probably gonna go somewhere in here and then those jack plates built in are gonna go in these provisions here. So let's get them up under here and see what we're working with. All right, so as I'm holding this up here, it looks like they need to be right about here, but they actually need to go towards the outside of the car more, which means we'll have to trim a little bit of the rocker panel itself that folds up under here, um, because if not, the bar is sitting on these welds here all the way down. So we're gonna take about a half an inch off the rocker that folds up under here. So this uh, rocker rail will sit in more. So I use some masking tape for a reference point for how much to cut off all the way down. I'll do about a half an inch. And I'm gonna be using this die grinder here just to cut this rocker panel here. And on the furthest part of the rocker panel, you can see where some damage is already here. That's why these are so important. I didn't do this, but the previous owner did. This rear section, you only need to cut about an inch out. That way it can clear. All right, so the first one's mounted up. It barely stick down past the rocker, but it's enough to protect it. If you go off track or if you're pulling in somewhere low, it's got you covered. Better than ripping off your whole rocker. So the car's back on the ground, it's all buttoned up. Can't really see them. If you know, you get down low. Plus I got these ZR1 style side skirts on here. But anyway, with my car being a drift car and going to the track frequently and just the car just being super low, I just found these to be pretty necessary. You know, if I go off track, I don't want to scrape the edge of the track with the rocker and rip it off or something like that. Uh, you know, even if your car is a daily driver and it's not that low, or if it is really low, you might want to look into getting these, you know, whether going over speed bumps or pulling into places um, with steep driveways or something like that. You know, these might save your car. Uh, and for me, I think that's well worth it. You know, I think these things were around 275 bucks for the aluminum ones, or they offer some plastic ones, which I believe are under a hundred bucks. So whatever your budget looks like, you know, these products from Elite Engineering, you know, will serve their purpose for you. And this isn't a paid advertisement or sponsorship or anything like that. I just, you know, bought these as preventative measure to make sure that my car is good to go on and off the track. All right, so it's actually been a couple weeks since I installed the rocker guards. I took the car to the track for the first time, went to a Clutch Kickers fun day at Emerald Coast Dragway. After a couple laps in, I went off track and thank God I had the rocker guards on there. So I'm gonna show you those clips now and what happened and then I'll show you the damage to the car.
pretty much the only thing you did was rip the ZR1 style side skirts off. That's what all those holes are from, the self tappers that you use to fasten them to the car. So now we'll take a look up underneath. So there are the rocker guards there, a little scraped up, a little crack there on the rocker, but a little scraped up, but no damage really to the rocker guard itself even, no cracks or anything like that, just some scuffs. So I'll order some more ZR1 side skirts, get them painted and throw them on, get this thing looking proper again. So as you guys can see, those rocker guards are well worth the money. They're not even that expensive for the reassurance it gives you that uh, if you make a mistake at the track or, you know, if your car is just low, the thing is safe and for the most part and uh, you can keep your car looking good without spending thousands of dollars to fix your rocker if it were to get messed up. Well guys, that'll do it for today's video. I have many more videos on the way as I have a lot I want to do to this car. So stay tuned for the next one and we'll see you next time.